The whiteboard is an indispensable tool for explaining key concepts. Involving students in using the whiteboard to exchange ideas and teach each other provides an additional interactive learning experience. Let's see how Nazreen uses the whiteboard to elicit teamwork in a technology class. that you can see how much we use email in our life based on the little conversation we have. So that's the reason I'd, I'd like to start thinking about then why is it important to keep our email safe? What will happen if the email is compromised? So think about what may, may go wrong if your shopping email is compromised. What may go wrong if your Conestoga email is compromised? So I will do a breakout activity. Uh, together, what you are expected to do is that I'll I'll do the breakout room in a in a minute. So please join the room and discuss the following question for five minutes. But then you have a little activity also. Each of you will offer at least one idea or in the breakout room. And please use the Zoom whiteboard. Uh, maybe when you go to the breakout room, decide a person who is going to share the Zoom whiteboard and take notes that what has been discussed. And that person or somebody else also can be a spokesperson. So when you come back to the main room, this spokesperson will again reshare the whiteboard with the rest of the group. And then we'll talk about the, what they have discussed in their group. So that is the simple activity. And I'm going, I'm going to fly from uh, room to room uh, just to support the discussion. And in case you have any difficulty. Uh, so is there any question before we start doing this activity together? Uh, no. no, no, it's clear. What I will do, because uh, you probably, because uh, we do so many things together, uh, we may forget uh, the prompt. So I'm going to post that question in the chat so you don't lose it. So you'll, you have this question in the chat also, because uh, once you don't see the slide, you may forget what was the instruction. So this is uh, just discuss about what can go wrong if your email account or multiple emails we have, if they're compromised. So this is the simple one and there is no correct answer. Rather, I want you to have a discussion and see what can happen if something happens with any of us. With that, I'm going to um, do the breakout room. Just give me a second. I'll just, uh, I'm just trying to put people. Mm, okay, I'm good. Uh, I will, uh, we will start with room two and uh, share what we have discussed. So in room two, uh, we had Hannah, Harsh, and Niraj. Who is the spokesperson in this room two? Uh, yeah, I'm going to share. Okay. Just give me a moment. Sure, no problem. Take your time. Share the screen and let us know what you have discussed in the breakout room about mm -hmm. uh, what will happen if the emails are compromised suddenly. And other, other folks in this room, feel free to add, add on something if, if Harsh some, uh, misses something. Okay, so uh, can you see the screen? Yes, I do. Yeah, so like there are like basically four or five things we have discussed in the last four or five minutes. So the personal information can be used by someone else. That's the most important thing, like uh, the all data of our personal information about regarding bank and everything like everything is stored in email. Mm -hmm. The same thing like account can be hijacked, then someone can manipulate the data we share in the email. So they can use our email and ID and everything if they have access over email. Exactly. And yeah, the uh, email account being used for illegal purpose in any criminal activity by someone. Then risk of allowing someone else to take action on B if they have the, all the information which we are which have. So these are the most uh, most of the things we have discussed in the last four minutes. Yeah, thank you so much, Neeraj. 